All right, so the question at hand wants us to find the area of a triangle within a circle. Specifically, we have a circle with radius 2, where it points A, B, and C are on the circumference of the circle. The angle BAC equals 45 degrees, and the angle ACB equals 60 degrees. Find the area of triangle ABC. So first of all, let me go ahead and draw a circle. Do my best to draw this nice and large. So this is our circle, and we have points A, B, and C on it. So the first thing that we need to recognize is that since these points are going to be on the, circum or, yeah, on the circumference of the circle, then the angles that they form are going to be twice as long on the arc. So what do I mean by that? If we have a circle over here, and I have an angle, let's say that this is 40 degrees, the arc length over here is going to be 80 degrees. This is a theorem that we've learned earlier in trig. All right, so that's the arc length right there, 80 degrees. So if we know that, we already know that we're going to have an angle of 45 degrees. So twice that is going to be 90. So let me just go ahead and draw points here and here. This is 90 degrees. So what I can do is I can just simply note that these are going to be two of my points. So I need to go another 120 degrees from this point in order to get to my next one. So 120 degrees is, this is 90 right here, and then 30 more is approximately right there. Okay, so these are going to be the three points of my triangle. Let me go ahead and connect them. So now let's see which ones are which. We know that this one has to be the 45 degree angle, so A is the central angle there, so this is A. The 60 degree angle is this one, since this forms the 120 degree arc. And the central angle there is C, which leaves just B. Okay, so we also know that the radius of this circle is 2. So the center is right here, and let me just go ahead and draw lines to each point. So we, let me use a different color. We've got a radius of 2, radius of 2, and a radius of 2. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to figure out the area of this whole triangle. The easiest way to do this is to figure out the length of two sides and one of the angles within. We already know all three angle measurements, but we don't know any of the side lengths. So how do we figure that out? Well, the first and easiest one to figure out is this BC or, or this BC line. What we know is that this has to be a right angle. The reason we know that is because this is a 90 degree arc, and this these are two lines that extend from the center. Therefore, this makes this a this makes this a central angle. And so this central angle has to be equal to the arc length angle. And so this has to be 90 degrees. So this is a right angle. That's wonderful. And so we know that in order to calculate the third length, we can just use Pythagorean's theorem and say that this is going to be um, a squared plus c plus b squared equals c squared. And so we would have 4 plus 4 equals c squared, 8 equals c squared, and then c equals 2 root 2. So this c right here is really just this. And so I'm just going to rename that as bc. And this is equal to 2 root 2. Okay. Next, what we can do is we need to figure out another one of these lengths, either AC or AB. The easier of the two is going to be AB. The reason being is because this angle, ACB, is 60 degrees, and that's a lot nicer than the last angle here, which is this one, which is 75 degrees, I believe. So what we can do is we can figure out that this angle right here is going to be 60 degrees, or actually it's going to be 120 degrees. 
we know it's going to be 120 because this is a central angle and it's got to be the same arc length as this which is 120 degrees okay so this one isn't as, as easy as the last one we can't simply use Pythagorean's theorem we have to use um, the law of cosines in order to figure this one out and the law of cosines says for any triangle let me just go ahead and draw a triangle over here just for demonstration that has sides A, B, C, all lowercase, and angles A, B, C, all uppercase, and notice that the angles are opposite of their side. For any triangle that looks like this, the law of cosines is this. c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. And in this particular instance we happen to have all the variables. We know that this is going to be a, this is going to be b, and then this is going to be c, and this angle right here is going to be capital C. Okay, so let's just go ahead and plug all this in. We have c squared equals 4 plus 4 minus 2 times 2 times 2 times the cosine of 120 degrees. Okay, so first of all, Let's go ahead and just keep calculating. 8, e, 8 minus 8 times... Now, what's the cosine of 120 degrees? This is actually going to be the negative version of the cosine of 60 degrees. So the cosine of 60 degrees is just 1 half, and so this is going to be negative 1 half. So we get c squared equals 8 plus which is equal to 12, therefore c has to equal to root 3. And this c that I've used here is this line, which is really just ab. Okay, so now we have two side measurements. We have ab and we have bc. We also have the angle b. So let's just go ahead and use the formula to calculate the overall area. We know that the area, let me use a different color, the overall area, sorry I haven't moved up enough, here's the information. We know that the length of AB is 2 root 3, and that's where I got the work from. Okay, so the equation for the area is one half AB sine C. So and we can refer back to this triangle over here. If we have AB and we know the angle C that's between them, then we can calculate the area. So this is just going to be one half. We know A is well, let me just go ahead and input the variables. So, in this case, A is going to be BC. And we know B is going to be AB. And then sine C is sine of this angle right here, which happens to be 75 degrees. And so... I now put in the numbers. This is going to be 1 half 2 root 2 times 2 root 3 times the sine of 75 degrees. Okay. And if I plug this into a calculator, I'm going to get 0.5 times 2 root 2 
times. Times two root three. times the sine of 75 degrees. And this gives me an answer of 4.732 units squared. Hope this helped.